Welcome in YouTube. Okay, the last people we have to bring up in here is Instagram. They're right here in the middle. So I got my, my Facebook over here. I got my little TikTokery oh, over here. And then I got my YouTube. So we're about to get into this. Chili Chris, barbecue chili Chris, chili Chris. All right. Hello, 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 my loves. Welcome, welcome, welcome into my kitchen. It is your girl, Gabrielle Reyes, and it is 1 p.m. or a little bit later, don't tell nobody. But we are up in the kitchen this Saturday, doing what we do, shaking it around, making something that is so profound. So today, we're gonna be making a barbecue chili crisp skewers. We're about to get into it, y'all, hey. Barbecue chili crisp. Tessie and delicious, delicious. Hey, as you can see, I got some very vibrant bell peppers. I've got some mushroom. I also got some, ooh, what do I got in here? Some pineapple and some red onion and then that cauliflower. Barbecue chili crisps. Tessie and it's so delicious. Barbecue chili crisps. Healthy and nutritious. Okay, barbecue chili crisps. Zesty and delicious. Barbecue chili crisps. Y'all gonna be singing this. Healthy and nutritious. One more time. Barbecue chili crisps. Zesty and delicious. Oh, barbecue chili crisps. Healthy and nutritious. So as you can see, it is a vibe, a total vibe up here in the One Great Vegan Kitchen. And I know y'all are like, okay, we love the singing, but are we gonna cook? And I'm like, yes, I got you, I got you. So the first thing we have to do to make this barbecue chin crease. Guarantee y'all gonna be singing that over and over and over again. So what we gotta do to make this radical rainbow-tastic recipe, we just need a few ingredients, honestly, and you can use whatever vegetables you like. I'm gonna be using a myriad of my favorite vegetables and I'll be adding in some plant protein in there too. So first things first, barbecue sauce. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I use barbecue sauce a lot for a lot of like my dips and marinades. It's just like a really good base. Ooh, and one of my favorite barbecue sauces to use is Fodi's. This actually has no onion and no garlic in it, so she's cute. So I'm using about one cup of my barbecue for that barbecue chili crisp element. And then I have some Fly by Jing crisp right here. This is the chili crisp, the star of the moment of this cooking show we have here today. They sent this to me in the mail. I got to try them a few years ago, but I really like chili crisp. It just reminds me of like my childhood eating ramen. So I am a big fan. So this is where the chili crisp element comes in. I'm gonna give myself actually a spoon and that way I can make sure I get all of that chili up in the crisp. Barbecue chili crisp. Ooh, I'm gonna do two tablespoons because I'm crazy like that. Oh, y'all see that? I wish y'all could see it close up. Ooh, look at that. This is Fly by Z Jing. That's how you pronounce it. Jing, Fly by Jing. Chili crisp right there. Baby, you got it. All right, so I have my chili and my barbecue up in here. Now I gotta add in a little bit of acidity up in there and some freshness and some garlic because I'm a garlic girl. Y'all know we out here in these streets, proud and ashamed of our garlic goodness. So I have about two tablespoons of minced up garlic. You wanna make sure it's very, very fine. You don't want big pieces of this. And then the other thing is some fresh chives right here, or you can use green onion or parsley. In she goes. Ooh, and she is cute. We are bringing life to this day, hello. And then the acidity I was talking about. I'm using lime juice just to keep it all in the same theme, you know what I'm saying? Give it all that fabulous flavor. So here's my lime right here. 
and squeeze it on in there, get all that lime juice. I'm getting about two tablespoons of my lime juice. And also I have preheated my oven to 425 degrees. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover all of my vegetables up in these. <laughs> I wanna put all my vegetables with this marinade or sauce. You can actually marinate them overnight and that would be so much goodness up in there. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually mix this around and paint it onto my skewers of vegetables. And then I'm gonna bake it. And then if you want to, you can actually go out to your garden or whatever you got, wherever you got the grill going on, and you can grill them. Give, some, give them some nice little grill marks, and that would be really cute. So there we go. Juicing the lemon, juicing the lemon, 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 juicing the lemon, juicing the lemon. Sometimes you gotta sing whenever you are doing it because baby, you got it. Juicing the lemon, juicing the lemon. There she go. All right, look at that. As you can see, I'm giving it that nice technique, AKA squeeze it for all that it's worth. Boom, just like that. And then I'm gonna add in a little bit of sweetness. Now it depends on if your maple syrup is super sweet, but you don't have to add in maple, or it depends on if your barbecue sauce is super sweet, but I wanna add in just a touch. So I'm gonna add in like one tablespoon of my maple syrup, maple syrup. Mm, sometimes you just gotta sing it from your soul because it feels that good. Okay, so now we're gonna give this a mix. I got my chili crisp, my garlic, my chives, my lime juice. Tell me that doesn't already sound so bomb. So there we go. Barbecue chili crisp. Tasty and so delish. There she goes, she is cute. All right, so hello, the hardest part of this recipe is over, AKA mixing the ingredients together. So now what I'm gonna do is, first of all, I'm gonna pump up the music, cause I do like this song, hey, hey. And then I'm gonna go get myself a sheet pan, that's what they call it these days, a sheet pan with some parchment paper or some silicone on it. Personally, I like to use silicone, less waste. Hello, let's get into it. And then we're gonna just stick all of our vegetables and fruit, a little pineapple right here. We're gonna stick that all onto our skewers and then we're gonna paint on that deliciousness that we love, y'all. So let me go get all my things. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Perfect. Hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. Mm. 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 Now, this is the portion of the show where I get to use this as a pointing tool <laughs> and as a wand. Cut it off. Um, but actually, oh my gosh, wouldn't that be the cutest wand? Like cooking class, you get to make wands out of <laughs> vegetables. Look at this, I am the mushroom queen. Ooh, da, ga, ga. Mushroom queen of your dream. Mushroom queen giving you the dream. But actually that is kind of cute. I'm not gonna lie y'all. So if you need a quick Halloween costume, Skewer and a mushroom, dress up like a mushroom and you a mushroom queen fairy. Boom, there you go. All right, <laughs> so now that we've had all that fun, let's see how I wanna stack this on. I think I'm gonna do some onion to start off. So I have some red onion right there. And then I'm gonna just go in with my pineapple. I mean, I love her. Actually, you know what? No, I wanna make sure I spread out all the colors. So I wanna put color in between not so colorful. So I have something colorful right there. And then let me use my little mushroom right here. Look at that, just like that. Actually, let me see if I can skewer it this way. That might even look better. Ooh, that looks fun. I'm not mad at that. Okay, so then now we're gonna put on some of that pineapple. Ooh, yes, girl, I see you. Look at that. Pineapple, pineapple. All right, now I love pineapple, y'all. If you know anything about me, you know I'm obsessed. I got pineapple earrings, pineapple clothes. So now I got some cauliflower right there. She is cute. I like to pierce it in the middle. And whenever you're piercing the cauliflower, I suggest you place it on a firm, flat surface and pierce it in the stem. And try not to get too close to the leaves because then it's gonna fall off. So there you go, right there. And then let me get my bell peppers right here. So I got a little bell pepper situation. And I'm gonna do another bell pepper situation. So I got both colors. And then I think I'm gonna end it off with another piece of 
some uh, onion. So there's that. I mean, you can stack on more. I might actually add on a little bit more onion to the bottom. Let's see if I can do a reverse stack. Reverse, reverse. Yeah, it actually did work. Boom. There we go. So there is one. And actually, I might put on some more on here because, you know, I'm feeling some kind of way. Let's give it a glow. Let's put on a show. There we go. Yes. Actually, just that little taste right there made it come through. So there we go. This is fresh hearty, flavorful, deliciousness. Look at that, she's already cute. So just place that on your baking sheet right there. As you can see, I'm stacking them high, just like that. And now we get to just keep doing that. You can do it in any order, but what I suggest is doing the colorful and then the whites and the colorful and then the browns and all that stuff. So I'm gonna start answering whatever questions I see now at this time. And then we'll, we'll get into it, y'all. But until then, you know what I'm gonna be doing. I'll be chilling right here, singing about food. Ka, ka, da, ka, ka. So let's see, I'm gonna start off with my red onion. And I think I saw a bunch of questions, y'all, but sometimes it's hard for me to like swipe through all of them. Cause I don't know if y'all know this, I have four cameras right here. I got Instagram, I got Facebook, I got TikTok, I got YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube. I got it all, I got it all. And I got another phone too right here controlling the music. We got a whole system set up. If you wanna see behind the scenes, go to my stories, go to my Twitter. I post all my behind the scenes stuff on my Twitter. Yes, I have a Twitter. Y'all didn't know cause y'all ain't following me on Twitter. That's okay. It's all the same, one great vegan. And you know, I just post a little bit more in depth about what's going on in my life. So there we go. I got myself a little mushroom pineapple situation. Oh, and let me stick this in right here. And I like to stack the red on top of the orange, but I'm honestly gonna just use whatever I got right here, right there. Boom! All right, and like I said with the cauliflower, you gotta make sure you pierce it like this. That's dope, I would love to see that. Yes, well, you're seeing it right here, live in front of you. There she goes. And also, if you want to, you can give the cauliflower a little boil really, really quick. You don't want them mushy, but that way it'll just cook quicker. And if you are gonna do it on the boil with the cauliflower, that way you can go straight to the grill if you want to. You don't have to bake them. Okay, so we got the cauliflower. What else we want up in here? All right, I think I'm gonna add on more of my red onion, just like that. Well, that kind of looked a little funky, but that's all good. <laughs> we are gonna go with it, flow with it. Glow with it. Ooh, I kind of poked myself. Be careful, don't poke yourself when you're doing this, my love. Yes, let's go. Natural high always, baby. I'm a musical vegan chef. I got the high of life going, glowing, flowing through my body. And that's what's beautiful, honestly, about being plant-based and eating vegan. It's like you constantly have that energy. Mind you, I'm one person in this world. I don't know if all my vegans out there got that energy, but for me, I just got that, I don't know, I'm like relaxed, but also super hyped whenever I need to be. And honestly, y'all, even though I don't sleep that much, my body is ready to go whenever I need to. So yes, come on, that's what we making right here. Let you get that natural high right there in that vegetable. Every single one of these vegetables has something good in it to feed your body, heal your soul, do something that you need in your life. So let's see, I got my mushroom on top. Oh, I'm gonna add in some more of some of my bell peppers right there. Look at that. What else, what else? Do y'all think I need any more? I think I'm gonna add on just one more of my bell pepper. And then, I keep saying I'm just gonna add on this much and then I add on even more. There we go, there we flow. Look at that, just like that. Oh wow, these are coming out gorgeous, y'all. How many hours do you sleep? It really depends. I've been super busy lately because I'm filming my own cooking show, which has been really exciting. I get to film it 100% from home, which is, Honestly, goals. <laughs> My dream, I do not like to leave the house. If you know me, you glow me, you know what I'm saying? You understand, I don't really enjoy going out. These days, I'll go out like once a year. But anyways, long story short, I sleep, I would say, average six hours. Average six to seven hours. Um, some days it's less, some days it's more. It just kind of depends on what I'm working on. Right now, doing the cooking show thing, you know, but what's cool is like, if I drink celery juice, if I hydrate myself with fresh juices, I feel fine. Like, I'm like, oh, we good. I could do this. I ain't mad at it. All right. Oh, look at that. So I answered that. Do you cook in your dreams? Yes. Oh, snap. Absolutely, I do. 
and I don't remember, like I don't really remember any of my dreams. Ace is really a lot better at doing that, but I do know that I do cook. I have cooked before. I just don't remember exactly what it is. You know what I'm saying? All right, there we go. Chili barbecues, chili, chili barbecues, chili, chili barbecues, chili, chili, chili barbecues, chili, chili. Chili barbecues, cause chili, chili, chili barbecues, cause chili barbecues, cause. I get set, set scores. That's not what it's called. It's called a skewer. Or you can call it a stack or a kebab. It doesn't really matter, honestly, what you call it, as long as you are eating it and it's good for your body. So there we go. So far, I've done three. Let me see if there's any more questions. Cooking with true passion. Always. When you heal your gut health you naturally eliminate waste from the body facts oh fresh juice give better energy than coffee all day every day snacks what does cauliflower help with cauliflower honestly i don't know exactly all the health benefits of cauliflower but i like it because it's like a good hearty element to add into all of these things i know for a fact the cauliflower is healthy for healthier for you than chicken so get yourself some of this cauliflower but if you're concerned about protein actually let's chit chat about that if you're like okay cauliflower understand you know it doesn't have as many hormones and all this additives in it because i don't know if y'all know this but they feed chickens some crazy stuff okay look it up do your research but if you're not into that if you're just like okay well i know i'm not eating chicken but i still want that kind of element that hardiness cauliflower is fierce i'm gonna have to look up exactly what the health benefits are but what I like to do is always add in that element of that hardiness, that meatiness that you desire, seasoned very well. But also I love to add in simple, inexpensive plant proteins. So today for this recipe, I'm gonna be using some legumes and some quinoa, AKA some lentils. And I've just seasoned them up with some steak seasoning. So if you're looking for protein and you're trying to eat animal-free, cruelty-free, plant-based, I got you. Let's see. I get, oh, somebody else is talking about something something else <laughs> i don't know sometimes people be going in cauliflower is not chicken exactly and that's why i love to eat it because what's fierce about eating plant-based none of that negative energy that suffering that pain you know that sadness none of that gotta go in your body and i think also what's really important is like honestly at this time in the world things are crazy right like i think we can all agree things are pretty scary wild you know just we don't really know what's coming next but what I love to know is that every day, as you eat plant-based, as you choose to live a vegan life, you are not putting death in this world. You are not adding to the death. You are not adding to the suffering. What? Like, there's already so much suffering going on and I don't have to be a part of it. Like, I can remove myself from the suffering. To me, that's like, whoa, like, that's the biggest impact you can make on this world, truly, especially while things are wild and wacky and wavy in this, you know, just who knows what's gonna happen next. Honestly, I live day by day at this point. But whenever I see sadness in this world, whenever I see suffering, I always try to remind myself that like, you know what, this is why I exist. I truly exist and I hope you exist in the same reason too, to wake people up, to make them realize that you don't have to live a life, an existence of sadness, of, you know, trauma, you can talk about your problems. Maybe it's not to a therapist, right? You can't afford therapy, right? You can't afford guidance. You feel lost, you feel different. There is somebody you can talk to. There's a phone number you can call. There is a friend, there's anybody. It doesn't really matter, but you have to talk about what's going on in your life. You gotta talk about your traumas, y'all, come on. That's why we alive, to exist, persist, and just go hard at our dreams. So, that all being said, the main reason why I'm so motivated to continue to go hard on my dreams is when I do see like sadness and suffering and pain, I'm just like, dude, well now I gotta keep going because all I know is less suffering. All I know is less pain. All I know is bringing a little bit of kindness, a little bit of goodness, a little bit of joy, a little bit of humor, a little bit of just like, chill out. Like don't take the world so seriously. Like not everyone's out to get you. Kindness goes a long way. Can I get an amen? Kindness goes a long way it really does it will change your life start adding kindness to it and see what happens 
But yes, during these crazy, wild, wacky times when so many things seem wrong and out of touch with reality, all I can do, truly all I can do is just keep going. And I hope you can too. I hope you continue to create and I hope you make the choice to be positive in some way. You can mourn, you can be sad and you should experience whatever you're feeling, but don't wallow in it, don't sit in it. Go, grow, glow. We all have the power to keep going. We really do, truly. And that's why we exist as human beings. So on this day, on this weekend, which feels a little weird to celebrate, right? Because things are going crazy in the world. Celebrate your life, celebrate your existence. Celebrate the fact that we are making vegan food and nothing had to suffer while we're eating delicious goodness right here. Isn't that fabulous? So maybe that's the reason you start eating a little bit more plant-based today. I don't know, I'm just a girl in a world doing what I do, trying to wake people up, trying to bring that little bit of joy in there. So if that spoke to you, if that resonated with you, DM me on Instagram. That's the best place to send me a DM. And I will send you over a free ebook. You can take a little screenshot so I know that you took, uh, that you were here at the live cooking class. Take a screenshot. Ooh, ooh. Take a screenshot. Ooh. <laughs> yes, take a screenshot and I will send you over a free cookbook. I think it has 75 recipes in it, y'all. I'm just giving it away. At this point, I don't care, right? Because it's like every day I wake up and I'm like, oh, my purpose is to wake people up. My purpose is to bring people out of the darkness, into the light, into their truth, and pursue what is right. Out of the darkness, into the light, pursue your dreams, and everything is right. I'm gonna find a different word for pursue, because it didn't fit with the beat of the song, but we gonna come back to that for sure. Go hard at your dreams and seek the light go and everything is right Ooh, she was cute too but for real if you heard the words go hard at your dreams wake up deal with your trauma treat people kind and see what happens see what happens if we stop bullying each other hopefully you saw my post about that too hopefully you saw your girl i ain't here for the bullying okay i ain't here on all forms whether it be adult to adult whether it be child to child, whether it be child to adult, don't bully no child, don't do that. But a lot of the reason people end up in places of sadness and suffering and you know where they feel like they can't talk to anybody is because of obviously their childhood, but also a lot of the time it's because people are forcing their judgments on them. And they feel like, oh, I don't belong, I'm different, I'm not equal, I do not matter. Can you imagine feeling like you don't matter? Like, that's not why we're alive. Life is a gift. And the fact that you are alive, that means that you matter. So if you're in any way today suffering, pain, sadness, misery, I hope that you realize you got this. And I hope you realize it's all gonna be okay. Keep going, keep growing, keep glowing, keep on the path of truth. Because at the end of the day, truth is all we got, y'all. All we got is truth. And the reality of the situation is Mother Earth will come back to what she needs us to do. It is not natural for us as humans to be coming back and forth, back and forth, back and forth like this. It is time for some love and we gotta spread it y'all. So my way of spreading it is by putting together these little skewers right here and sharing my random thoughts with y'all throughout my life. Oh, all right, so I hope I hope y'all took something away from that. Maybe some of y'all are like, oh, okay, so I got it exactly. Hey, I just wanted to know, are you pro LGBTQ? Yes, of course, I'm pro everybody, honey. I do not discriminate in anybody, truly. I don't believe that, I'll be real, I do judge people occasionally. I'll be like, okay, that's, there's my judgment, my eternal judgment. Will I come out and say it? No, no. You ain't gonna know that I'm silently judging you. I will be honest with you, but, I do not discriminate against any kind of person. Doesn't matter what color, doesn't matter what flavor, doesn't matter who you love, who you want to be, do you. My whole message is about do you, boo boo. So yes, I am pro everybody. I'm pro Christian, pro Muslim, pro no religion, pro gay, pro straight, pro trans, pro everybody. If you can't tell by the color, I just like to celebrate life. Life is a gift. So you should be pro people. That's what I'm gonna call it. I am pro people and I'm pro life. 
every well i guess not technically in that way because that's a whole other situation but i am pro living your best life how about that i'm gonna come out with that pro living your best life whoa if you are here you now you know pro living your best life yes i love that that is fabulous so yes i hope that is a long answer i love your thoughts that made me feel better thank you we need more fight be fight beings like you in the world i don't know what that means but i'm gonna say i'm gonna say we do need more people who think about truth trust and patience and believe in their passion we need that y'all Y'all see what I'm doing over here? I didn't even follow my own rules. I'm over here piercing the cauliflower. Like she gonna work out that way. Girl, what you, oh, snap. Y'all, we don't have to start this one over. I broke it, look at that. This is what happens when you just go into the spirit and you start speaking your truth. LOLOL. Okay, we are friends. My kitchen experience is like this as well. Count me in. Yes, I love that you guys more light beings in this world, facts. We do need people to go hard at their light and just exist in that vibration of life and the easiest way to do that truly right now today is by eating plant-based your vibration completely changes that's why people always ask me all the time they're like girl are you crazy and i'm like no i'm alive i'm living my best life i love your message of life that's what i preach all the time you can still use it with a small kebab lol you are right but you know i just went in i just I decided it wasn't it. I was not about to be about that life. Okay, but I'm able to salvage all of my goodies right here. So we good, y'all, I got this. No worries. This time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pierce the cauliflower the right way, y'all. We gonna see this, professionals right here, okay? Boom, ba -da! there she, see, I knew I could do it, y'all. Y'all just had to believe in me. Okay, let's see what else. I love the message as well. It's especially needed today. Yes, it is needed every day. The fact that life is a gift is necessary. Hello. I've been plant-based since 2013. Yes. Absolutely love it. You are beautiful in all those colors today. Thank you, baby. This is one of my favorite dresses. Honestly, this is like my going out dress. I'll wear this if I want to like go out to a club. And if y'all know me too, if you can't tell, I like to dance. And so my version of going to the club is always just about dancing. In fact, I went to like an Afro Beats party the other day and Ace and I truly were at, at the beginning, we're the only ones dancing. I was like, dang, y'all ain't, ain't trying to get it? Like I paid money to be in here. I paid $10 and I was like, okay, I'm paying money to leave the house in my cute little outfit. So of course I'm gonna dance. I, if you spend, it's like a Zumba class, it's like a cheap Zumba class at that point where everybody looks fierce. So I was like, yes, we are 100% doing that. And so we just danced, danced, danced. I got my nice little sweat on. Mm -hmm. It was cute. It was cute. And I'm not mad about it. So I hope you are inspired in some way. And I might have to pump up the music, but it's actually because I'm going to have to start to dance. Y'all ain't going to lie. I haven't danced a little bit because I was speaking some mad truth. I wanted to come on here and speak truth, but I wasn't sure exactly like how to. I was like, how do I bring up stuff that's going on in this world? How do I bring it to light? But, you know... We are light, you are light. You are a being of love and light. And you are destined for eternal love. That's what you deserve. It just is what it is. You are a being of light. Seek towards your passion and it'll be all right. You are a being of light. Come from the darkness and everything is right. You are a being of light. Say it again. Come on. Coming from darkness, it's all gonna be alright. You are a being of light. Hey, coming from the darkness, and everything is right. Ooh! If you felt that in your soul, let me know. Let me know. You are a being of life. Sometimes it's like, I don't really care how long the recipe takes to make because I'm just having a good time, honestly. <laughs> this is my happiest place to be. Singing, cooking, entertaining, because y'all know I'm a theater girl. I'm a musical theater girl through and through. So of course, I had to bring it to you. Mm. 
come from the darkness and into the light. You are a being and everything right. Coming from darkness and into the light. Come from the ashes and everything right. Ooh, okay, y'all, it is a vibe. It is a full on vibe up here in the kitchen. You are a being of light. Oh, actually, I like the one how I started off. Coming from, what did I first say? <laughs> Out of the darkness and into the light. Seek towards your dreams. Hmm, let's see. I like the word right, but I kind of want to switch it up a little bit because I use the word right a lot. So let's see. Right, tight, flight, kite, white. Sight, ooh, 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 I like sight. So y'all gonna watching me how I create all my songs actually. Literally, I'll just be like, okay, I like that. I like that vibe. But I want to see exactly what rhymes better. So we got out of the darkness, into the light. Seek, oh, okay, okay. Seek out the dreams to give you sight. Out of the darkness and into the light. Seek out your dreams. All right, seek out your dreams and, hmm, let's see. Out of the darkness, into the light. Seek out, wait, wait, <laughs> y'all, I literally forgot what I just came up with. This is why I have to write it down, honestly. Out of the darkness and into the light. Go hard at your dreams. Let me know. Y'all writing this with me, so y'all better bring forth the ideas. Let me see. Y'all got anything? No, y'all are just like, okay, she can sing. We get it. <laughs> yes. Let's see. And find the true sight. Ooh. Seek out your dreams and find the true sight. Out of the darkness and into the light. Seek out your dreams and see the true sight. Out of the darkness and into the light. Go hard at your dream and leave it to side. Hey, okay, we're gonna be singing that a little bit longer, y'all, because I hope y'all hear it, okay? Woo. What are y'all saying? This is a Vietnamese dish? Oh, come on. Out of the darkness and into the light. Seek out your dreams. Everything will be inside Out of the darkness And into the light Seek out your dream Everything is inside I like that Seek out your dreams And everything is inside Oh, I saw that Somebody wrote out something I loved it I love it Okay You are a being of light Out of the darkness into light Seek out your dreams And find your two sides Okay Okay Oh, I'm gonna use that one I like it I'm gonna pin it I'm gonna pin that. Oh, look and who's here. Okay, we gonna run it back because I'm gonna use the lyrics you literally just wrote here. Somebody just wrote a song, baby, for me. I love it. We all did it together. Okay, so. You are a being of love and light. I'm gonna add some love in there. Out of the darkness and of the light. Seek out your dreams. Ooh, let me see if I can see more of it. All right. You are a being a love and light out of the dark. Okay. You are a being a love and light out of the darkness and a light. Seek out your dreams and find your side. You We have to do this again another time when we come up with songs together because 
girl la la warhoff you did it girl you sang that song girl you wrote it for me girl i'm gonna unpin that comment so i can see the other comments but wow thank you so so much for that beautiful lyricism yeah that is just what i needed a little inspo from my family okay y'all let's see i gotta actually make these cauliflowers though because they still gotta bake and i'm over here just sitting just chatting about loving like but sometimes that's what you need you know what i'm saying sometimes you just gotta let them know well you know what you are being of light mm, of love and light my husband says that to himself all the time he said i'm a being of love and light yes you are from the light deserving of love you better mm. That's why we're making this. It's, ooh, this ain't got no red in it. Uh-uh, we're going to have to put some red up in there. We're going to put this little one at the very top. Look at that, y'all. Boop. All right. Y'all, I think we are done. Look at those. We have our kebabs right here, all loaded and layered. Rainbow-tastic as all get out. So now it's time to paint on our chili barbecue crisp dip sauce, sass, whatever you want to call it. I got my brush right here, and hopefully y'all can see me getting into this. Ooh. Hey, you are being a love of light out of the darkness and the light. You are being a love of light. See how to dream. I hope y'all sing that to yourselves. I really do. Because mm, that is a beautiful word. Mm, you are a being of love and light. Now let's see what kind of questions y'all got. Beautiful voices. Thank you. I love to sing. It's just like this fun way to express your truth. Raise your hand if you're a singer. Hello. I absolutely love it. I love the freedom, the fact that you can practice, you can get better at it. Y'all, I've gotten so much better at singing just by singing every single day, truly. And every time I do one of these like Saturday cooking classes, I learn more about my voice. Like singing that song about love and light. I learned, girl, you can run these notes together. So it's always just about practicing, putting yourself out there. And y'all, speaking of which, I'm really excited because Ace and I have an album coming out. Juneteenth, Juneteenth celebration. Juneteenth celebration, Juneteenth celebration. It's time to celebrate. Juneteenth. 2022 mark your calendars every single one of you because y'all on all platforms you are going to be able to get an album blessed by grace yes honey that is the name of the album we are putting out it is all everything it's a bunch of what you've seen here today love light truth trust patience we got a song about everything i am blessed is 100 percent on there i know y'all are obsessed with that song i am blessed we all have the power. There's just songs about empowerment, about truth, about finding love within yourself. Y'all, it's a good time. So you will be able to find that. I'm obviously gonna be posting even more, but actually Ace and I are recording some of the songs today. Yes, literally today we are heading over to the studio. Oh, I just splashed all over myself. We're gonna head over to the studio and record with our producer. Yes, we got a producer. We up in here doing what we do cooking it in the kitchen, which speaking of, we also have a song about delicious vegan food. Yes, of course we had to throw out the vegan words, the truth, the vegan goodness. And y'all see what I'm doing right here? I'm just gonna, 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 painting away. It's like my little canvas and it's fun. And we're gonna flip this and then do the exact same thing. Boom, as you can see, this sauce is going quick. Boom, look at her. She is cute too. I made it. I made it. I made it. Ooh, saucy, saucy. So flip it around so you make sure every piece is going to get, ha ha ha, yes. Every piece is going to get some of that flavor. Now, what you can also do is save, save some of this for afterwards and you can put even more on. Maybe like put a little thinner in there, some vegetable broth or maybe some oil just so it's not too, too thick too too thick <laughs> my voice said nope not today uh, but also 
I would make sure that you can put some on later after you've already baked them or put them on the grill because then all that flavor will be sure to be there on top. I like to make sure that this sauce is baked in specifically because of the garlic. But if you want to, you can just put some regular chili crisp on the top just to really sell that full flavor. So here we go. Y'all know I love a cute kebab. And honestly, y'all wanna know a fun fact? I had no idea what I was cooking until last night and I had a dream, right? Somebody asked me if I had a dream about cooking. And I had a dream and I had all these extra vegetables in here. I had the kebabs. I knew, you know, we have a holiday weekend. So I just wanted to, you know, make something really good up in the one gravy in kitchen. So there we go. Look at that saucy, bossy. And it looks like we have about the perfect amount of sauce to fully coat and cover. Now you wanna make sure, you might not be able to get into all the cracks, but you definitely want to make sure that you at least get it on every single piece in some way, especially any of those pieces that can soak up all that flavor. So there we go. Painting, painting, painting goodbye. There we go. I really like this part because personally, I don't know if y'all know this about me, but I also love to draw. I actually grew up drawing a lot of anime. So I'm still like, you know, very much artistic. I love to just, oh, anything that's really creative, I'm a fan. There's nothing that I'm like, oh no, I wouldn't try that creatively. Creatively. But y'all, I think it's time to put this up in the oven. Look at that, all saucy. Ooh, I wish y'all could smell this right now because it has everything you love about chili crisp, barbecue, limey. Ooh, I mm, ooh y'all, it's good. Sometimes you can only just make sounds because it smells so good. So now I'm gonna roast this for about 20 to 30 minutes or until the cauliflower is nice and soft. But like I said, if you want to, you can actually boil the cauliflower beforehand and that way it'll be quicker to cook it up. Come on, song coming in right in time. Zesty and so delicious. Hey, hey. Barbecue chili crisps. That's what we're making. Zesty and so delicious. Hey, hey. Barbecue chili crisps. That's what we're making. Nutritious and delicious. Ho, hey. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna eat this pineapple right here because, mmm, mmm. In fact, I'm gonna just leave this out. I'm gonna go play these guys. Rachel. I'm gonna pull up the chair. I just got something straight in my eye. It was like some pineapple juice that splashed straight up in my eye. Let's see. Let's see if I can open it. It burns. It does burn a little bit, but not too bad. Oh, there we go. We're Gucci to go. All right, y'all. I'm going to answer as many questions as I can as I munch on this little pineapple situation over here. Mm, hey, queen. Love your content so much. Keep going. I will. I just started, y'all. <laughs> just started. And I'm excited to share all the other things coming up. We're going to turn the music down because she's a little too loud. I have splash sauce everywhere. I see it. All right, so, hey y'all. Aloha sister from Maui, Hawaii. Hello, welcome, that's so exciting. I don't even know what time it is over there. Do let me know, I'm very curious. All right, let's see. Successful people eat differently. Yes, indeed. But I will be honest with you. I hope that one day eating plant-based is not different. I hope that that becomes the norm. So successful people eat plants. I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that with my truth. How about that? Let's see. Okay, somebody asked me about quick breakfast. Avocado toast. Oh, oh my gosh. Actually, something that is so incredible that I just recently discovered is, so what you wanna do, get a bunch of potatoes. Potatoes are inexpensive and they're really good at just being a quick little breakfast. Get yourself a bunch of potatoes, skid them, chop them into tiny little cubes, or you know, whatever kind of size you like in the morning. 
as a potato. For me, I like tater tot sized potatoes. You know what I'm saying? So chop those up and then soak those overnight or at least for however long whenever you're ready to make them soak them in cold water in your refrigerator so soak them that's gonna be sitting there and whenever you're ready to eat oh y'all this is the moment you're gonna take them out pat them dry make sure all that water try to remove all that water and the water actually removes some of the starchiness in there as well so let me see what somebody's just said real quick dee, 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 dee. Mm. Okay, I'll read that out in just a little bit. But what I was saying about the potatoes was that you can actually just take the potatoes straight from the refrigerator, already cut up, already skinned out, and pat them dry. And then what you're gonna do, season them. You can add on smoked paprika. I suggest like poultry seasoning, smoked paprika. And that's about it. You should be good with that. And then throw them in the air fryer. Oh, snap. It's like French fries, but like breakfast fries. Like I don't know what to call it, breakfast potatoes. So once you have that, Get some cooked chickpeas for a little bit of plant protein ooh, or a little bit of hummus drizzle on top. Dip it in some hummus dip. Breakfast is ready, honey. And it's one of those things you can make and then go get dressed and do everything else. So I'm gonna come back to this other comment I saw here and I wanted to read it. Let me see if I can pin it real quick. Him. All right, this person says, oh, I'm not vegan, but this channel has made me eat a lot healthier. And I've thought about going full blown, oh snap, but I really enjoy eating fresh stuff. And you make me feel more energized and positive. Thank you, Bobby. God bless you and your spirit and your soul. I'm happy to share. I mean, this is what keeps me alive. This is what brings me joy, honestly. It's just, it's just one of those things, you know, I just enjoy like sharing what I believe to be true and so far so great to be honest like what's awesome about eating plant-based honestly is that we've known for a very 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 long time that plants are helpful right people have been using plants to heal themselves for years and years and years and years so I think it's pretty easy to understand exactly like why eating plant-based for me is the healthiest thing you know and I, I feel great I ain't gonna lie I feel bomb every day Let's see, where do you live? I live in Vegas. I live in Florida and I love it here. The sun, oh my gosh, the weather, the beach. I will say I am nervous about hurricane season. I do not know what to expect. And that part is just, whew, you know. I'm Hawaii plant-based Wahani. Wahine? I don't know what the last word is. Hey queen, oh, hello Maddie, hello. You look beautiful in that photo I see over there, hello. I love it. Are you going to post the sauce recipe? Yes. So anytime I do a live stream, I always make sure to share the recipe either on my Instagram or on my YouTube or on my Facebook as well. It's harder on TikTok because I can't leave words. What are we cooking today? Barbecue chili crisp. We're making barbecue chili crisp skewers and it's good. What did I say? Barbecue, I said, are we making barbecue? Yes, I did, we said, I said, we making barbecue today. Oh, I already got one low power mode. That means it's time for my good friend Charger to come on in. Come on in, girl. Show him what's good. Hello, my king. How was your rehearsal? Ace is, right now, he's in a Juneteenth show that he's rehearsing for, and we're making an album at the same time. You wanna give him a taste of the album, babe? You don't have to. No, he said, nah, I wanna sleep. Yeah, so. It's, it's a lot, it's a lot. He's, he hasn't done a show in a very long time, so it's us getting used to it. Do, 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 do. You cook, how do you make this happen? AI smoke, you cook. Hmm, I don't know. AI is cool. Smoke, sometimes there's smoke involved in cooking. You cook, how we make this happen. Okay, so you're asking me, I think what you're asking me is how do I make this happen? So for this recipe that we're cooking right now, it's up in our oven and she doing what she do, she doing what she's supposed to do, AKA cooking. So what you wanna do is get your marinade together. I made it with all my sauces. And then you stick your vegetables on your skewers and then you paint on your marinade, you bake it, and then you can finish it on the grill or you can do the whole thing on the grill. You don't gotta bake it. You can pop it in the grill if you're feeling that. I love you so. God bless you and your spirit and your soul. Hello. Marge, is being raw vegan better than regular vegan? But to be honest, I don't personally know. I was raw vegan for two years and I enjoyed it. I mean, it was very fresh. The only thing is I ate too much 
fats like um chick uh, not chickpeas let's see what was it i was oh too much cashews oh my gosh i can't believe i even forgot what a cashew was because i used to be obsessed with cashews i ate cashews like all the time every day when i met my husband ace he was like oh my gosh this girl obsessed with cashews but then i realized i was eating too many cashews now i have cashews as like a little treat i just don't crave them as much but yeah when i was raw vegan i just craved a lot of cashews and so yeah i i enjoyed it but i didn't like how i felt fully I wasn't like, it wasn't that I was tired or anything. I just didn't like how my body felt, like how my skin hung, if that makes sense. I don't know how like where my fat was distributed. Distributed? That's the word, there we go. Where my fat was, dis I can't say it, distributed. Oh my gosh, y'all, I can't say words. How do you say it? Where my fat was distributed. There we go, come on, she can say it. Don't matter, she dyslexic, she got it. So yeah, so, but what I do suggest is eating about like, 80% raw and then 20% like cooked, fried, baked, all that goodness. Baking to me is like the best way to cook anything just because you don't have to use oil if you're trying to be oil free, you know what I'm saying? Let's see, is your YouTube channel the same name? Yes, my love, One Great Vegan is the name on YouTubes as well. Let's see, I saw something else. Okay, what I was talking about, about the brown breakfast also running back because y'all asked me about breakfast ideas and I was like okay that was one idea we have the potatoes with the chickpeas quick easy boom bada boom and also avocado toast is really cute I like to throw over hummus pretty much on everything so hummus toast hummus with some greens on top a hummus sandwich <gasps> is this oh this is like I thought this was one of the songs from our album I was like oh my gosh this beat because <laughs> some of the beats sound we have an, um, a playlist that sometimes music from my cooking class will play, but also obviously we have beats from our album coming out that we, we like practice to, we rehearse to. It's a whole thing, y'all. Y'all gonna see it when you dream it. Hey, hey, loaded avocado. I can't not sing this song when I hear it. Like truly at this point, I don't know if I can come up with a whole other song to this, but we could. Let's see, I have squash in my fridge and I need some recommendations. I'm tired of my standard seasonings. Honey, I got you. What you should make with that squash is butternut squash mac and cheese. It is one of my most favorite recipes. And the main thing is, what you gotta do is chop the squash. I suggest piercing it all around. Kind of give it a little bit of oil massage around it. And then you're gonna, I already said chop it in half. You're gonna chop it in half, put some oil on it, and then put it into the oven and bake it until it's nice and soft and then remove all the insides. Make sure you ain't got no seeds in there. You can use the seeds for someone else, but make sure you take out all the insides, put it into a blender, add in, I would say, nutritional yeast, a little bit of some rosemary, some uh, dried rosemary, some thyme, some smoked paprika, ooh, maybe a little splash of nutmeg, maple syrup, garlic powder, onion powder, and then if you want to, you can blend that all together with a little bit of coconut milk, and then now you got your noodles ready to go. If you want to, you can add in some plant-based cheese just to give it that stickiness. And yeah, that's that's pretty much what you should do with your butternut squash. Or something else you can do, obviously cutting it up, cubing it up, making tacos out of it, maybe a little cauliflower. Or if you got any beans, some squash bean tacos. Or last one I'm gonna say, <laughs> squash um, quesadillas. So do the exact same thing, chop seeds out, puncture, oil, bake, remove the stuff from out of there, and then season it like you would mashed potatoes. I mean, I would put in some like poultry seasoning and Italian seasoning, and of course, some paprika, maple syrup. Smash that all together, get a tortilla, put that on the tortilla, and then put in whatever else you want. You put in plant-based cheese or greens, whatever. And then, ooh, a squash tortilla quesadilla. That sounds really good. Let's see. Um, do you have a YouTube channel? Yes, we answered this one. It's all the same, one great vegan. Mac and cheese is my favorite thing. Bless you, I never would have thought of the quesadillas. I didn't think about it either until I was like, oh, quesadillas. I love onion powder and dill, yes. Fresh dill on that squash would be delicious as well. Let me check in real quick, see how we do it. Ooh, I wish y'all could see it, but y'all how to. She is cute. All right, let me clear out some of this stuff. Gotta make sure we can get a full view of the beauty. Oh, 
that is. Oh, actually, I'm gonna hold on to this right here. Yay, yay, yay. I wanna make another song to this. Maybe y'all can help me with some other lyrics. <gasps> what should we make a song about this next for this next version? Because this is one of my favorite beats on here, but I can only think of one way to sing on it. I don't know why. It's just one of those things that's stuck in my head. So let's see. I'm gonna make a song about being fearless. You don't need the fear, cause I'm right here. There's no need to fear. There's no need to fear. Everything is here. There's no need to fear. There's no need to fear. Everything is here. There's no need to fear. All right, so I like it. There's no need to fear. Everything is here. Hmm, let's see what rhymes with here. Steer, gear. This was a really hard one for me to rhyme with. Beer, that ain't gonna work. Career, oh, okay, career. Mirror, mirror, looking in the mirror. No need to fear. Or maybe we change it up. You are fearless, you are bright. Nothing needed, and I. I kinda like that vibe too. You are fearless, you are bright. Go on and get it. No need to fight. You are fearless. You are bright. You better go and get it. No need to fight. You are fearless. You are bright. There's no. I remember. Hey, oh, oh, come on. You are fearless. You are bright. Go on and get it. You are fearless, you are bright. Go on and get it, there's no need to fight. All right, all right, I like it. I'm not sold on there's no need to fight. Oh, invite, that's also a really good rhyme as well. Invite, kite, ooh, take flight. Somebody asked me about kombucha. Ooh, is that apple kombucha? Watermelon. You are fearless. You are bright, go on and get it. Let's see, how can I change that? You are fearless, you are bright, you better go and get it. And then take flight, Oh, okay. So you are fearless, you are light, you go on and get it, and then take flight. All right, come on, we bring it around. All right, actually, I'm gonna start it a little bit over so we can figure it out. Hey. You are fearless. You are bright. You better go get it and take flight. You are fearless. You are bright. You have the power. Girl, you got it. Hey, hey. You are fearless. You are bright. You have the power to take flight. You are fearless. You are bright. You have the power to take high. You are fearless. You are bright. You have the power to take high. You are fearless. You are bright. You have the power to take high. You are fearless. You are bright. You have the power to take. You are fearless, you are alive, you have the power to take fly. You are fearless, you are bright, you have everything that you... Oh, I got another one. Oh, snap, I love this, this is so fun. You are fearless, you are bright, you, everything you need is... Yes! You are fearless. You are bright, everything you need is in your inner light. You are fearless, you are bright, everything you need is in your inner light. You are fearless, you are light, everything you need is in your inner light. We gotta stand up for it. We found it! Hey! You are fearless, 
you a liar. Everything you need is in your inner light. You are fearless. You a liar. Everything you need is in your inner light. You are fearless. You are bright. Everything you need is in your inner light. You are fearless. You are bright. Everything you need is in your inner light. You are fearless. You are bright. Everything you need is in your inner light. You are fearless. You are bright. Everything you need is in your inner light. You are fearless. You are bright. Everything you need is in your Light. Woo, everything you need is in your inner light. Amen to that. That is a blessing if I never knew. Wow. You are fearless. You are the light. Oh, I can't stop saying it. You are fearless. You are light. Everything you need is in your inner. Oh, you are fearless. You are bright. Everything you need is in your light. Yes, let your light shine, y'all. We gonna have to do this again. Y'all, y'all gonna come, start coming back just because we gonna start making songs together. How about that? All right, I haven't said anything to Facebook in a little bit, so I just want to make sure how y'all doing. Check in, check in, deck in, flex in. You know what I'm saying? Wow, that was amazing. <laughs> yes, and I hope you join me. In your inner light is truth. In your inner light is beauty. Ooh, is that what the new song is about? In your inner light is truth. In your inner light is beauty, beauty, beauty. In your inner light is truth. In your inner light is beauty. Yes, I gotta rhyme something with beauty though, and sometimes beauty, beauty is a hard word to rhyme with. Beauty, cutie. Oh, because I'm looking like a cutie. Hello, I am mad at it. Love her. I love you. Y'all are just giving me all kinds of life by just telling me I can sing. Like, I really appreciate it. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to say other than just like, thank you, I love singing. Like, it's just that I can't help but speak truth to power through song. It's just, ah, it's so fun, y'all. So, I miss seeing you cook. Yeah, well, I miss eating. That's why we gotta, that's why we gotta wait and we gotta sing while we wait. You want me to just stand here, <laughs> sit? <laughs> no, okay, we're gonna sing, we're gonna come up with songs, or I can answer whatever questions y'all have. Would you ever consider collaborating, collaborating with Tab? Yes, and I already have the show, it's called Tab and Gab. Tell me that wouldn't be a fun time. Tab and Gab, yes, we'd be so cute. So yes, I would love to, whenever the time is right, y'all stay tuned, there's a lot, it's a lot brewing, so y'all stay tuned. I've been singing my song, doing my dance, and also speaking my truth when I'm watching your videos. Yes, you better. Marcus, I love, Marcus been around since the jump. Marcus knows, shout out to Marcus. I would, I would dare to say Marcus is one of my biggest fans. He's real big on commenting on my YouTube. And I, I don't know how old Marcus is, but he is a sweet, sweet, wonderful person who exists in light and love and speaks their truth, sings their song, does the dance. Yes. All right, let's see. I saw something else on the TikTok already. Encourage, oh, that's from TikTok. Encourage your viewers. Yes. Hawaiian. Ooh, I would love to make some Hawaiian food. That would also be very, very delicious as well. Mm. Yes. All right. So somebody asked me if I would consider collaborating with the great Tabitha Brown, and I said, yes, honey. I love it. I love all the lyrics coming here. You are fearless. You are bright. You have the power to take flight. Yes. You are fearless. Oh. oh, you are fearless. You are bright. Everything you need is in your inner light. Ooh. Y'all are still coming out with these words. Y'all are coming through with it. I'm going to follow you on YouTube right now. Yes, y'all can totally follow me every single place. I, you know, I'm gonna post everything everywhere. So no worries about that. Yes. All right, let me go check in on our thing. Oh! Yeah, I wanna take a look at this. Y'all, look at this. Can you believe? Can you smell? Can you see? Right, I'm gonna do a little flippery just so I can kind of make sure every piece is getting some of that. Ooh, yes, honey. She is cooking up. Ooh, 
Oh, and look at all that extra sauce. Actually, what I can do with that extra sauce on the bottom, that way we're not wasting no sauce. So make sure I just re-put it. Y'all see what I'm doing? Taking the sauce from underneath, and I'm making sure it gets into all, oh my goodness, y'all. I ain't never made this before. Y'all know that? This is the first time I ever made this recipe in my life. And holy snap, it is so good. I can smell it. I can tell that cauliflower is gonna be so perfectly crispy. Make sure you get that seasoning on every piece if you can. Ooh, y'all seeing this? Chili crisp barbecue. Chili crisp, it's something for you. Chili crisp barbecue. Chili crisp, it's something for you. Chili crisp. into all them crevices. Oh yes, girl, I'm gonna pick you back up. You coming over here. Oh yes, I'm gonna make sure all that goodness gets up in my kebabs, skewers, stacks, everything. And also, if you want to, you can take all that extra sauce and pour it over any of your additional vegetables and you will be good to go. Okay, y'all, we got the sweet, we got the spicy. It's so good. Chili crisp, it's something for you. Back in the oven for about 10 more minutes. I mean, what's great about this recipe, and this is also why I eat plant-based, because I don't gotta worry about me getting hurt if the chicken is cooked or worrying about, oh snap, is the beef raw? about any of those things. I worry if my cauliflower is it soft enough for me to want to eat. Did I wash my vegetables? Bet. We're good. <laughs> so, you know, it's just the life I lead. Another perk to be in plant-based. Yes. All right. Somebody said, what kind of music? Yes, come on. What kind of music is on the album? Oh, wow. I would say that it's, okay, so well, number one, there's a disco song on there. I'm free, I wanna be you might be Oh, she is a vibe, y'all. It's it's everything you want in like a full dance disco beat. So we got that. Obviously got some R and B. Baby, if you want this love, you gon' have to take good care of me. Baby, I don't want You gon' have to listen more than speak. So we got a little of that, baby, if you want this love. Truth, trust, patience, gotta have truth, trust, patience. Got a little gospel. Let's see, I am blessed. I'm not straight. A little, a little more gospel, I guess. Oh, delish. Here come me the queen with the motion. Delicious cooking, looking like a perfect snack. Oh, delish. That's gonna definitely be y'all's favorite. I can already tell because it's got that like hard, like, ooh, yes, rap beat, but it's also got me singing on there, which is cute. Ooh, what else is on? Oh my gosh. There's like a ballad on there that's about like finding your inner peace. And oh, it's so simple, but yet so powerful. It's just like these long, luscious notes, like flipping through all the, ah, oh, it's just, it's so cool. So we got that, I think, did I say 10 songs already? It's 10 songs, so I don't know if I said all of them, but it's it's a mix. It's definitely an eclectic, eclectic mix of gospel, spiritual, R&B, rap, you know, I mean, everything you love, disco, dance, techno, like it's truly, we wanted to create each song to be vastly different. Afro beats, how could I forget? Would you love me if I sang along? My body, your body, your spirit, da, da, da. Actually, I don't remember the lyrics to that one. Um, actually, let me think. Um, do I remember it? I said, a long time to say hello. I've been waiting for a very long time to say hello, say hello. Something like that. I don't know. Ace sings that part. I just sing a cute little hook. 
and a little bar. So yes, y'all, it is it is a good time. There's a lot. There's Afro beats, there's disco, everything you need. So yes, somebody asked about that and said the question. Perfect. Nice. Okay, let me see. Mm. How many years have you been plant-based since 2011? Best decision. Best I could have ever made for my spirit and my soul. And for the world. Because like I said, whenever you're eating plant-based, you just take out that element of suffering, of pain. You don't got to deal with none of that. You know what I'm saying? I like it. Oh, let me turn off the music again. And you also, fun fact, I do not put on the AC whenever I shoot these so the sound is crisp. It gets hot. <laughs> so if y'all start seeing me really get super sweaty, then you understand exactly what happened to your girl. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go check in real quick and then we're gonna assemble our plate of all of our goodness because I really wanna make sure I add on that plant protein element in there as well. So let's see how we do it. I was a very good long time to say you. I was a very good long time to say you. Ooh, I ain't mad at it, y'all. I ain't mad at it. She is looking delish. Us. All right. I believe our dish is ready to go. So now, the moment we have all been waiting for, we get to plate our kebabs. And like I said, if you want to, you can finish it off on the grill, get a nice smokiness in there. So what I have here, this is some cooked quinoa as well as some cooked lentils. You can use chickpeas. You can put down some hummus if you want to as well. I'm gonna do this because I just wanna add on that little bit of extra plant protein. But I also want it to look cute. So that's why I'm putting this little platter over here to give it that kind of vibe. We all use a spoon for this, hello. There we go, you just use what you got. There we go, spread it out from corner to corner. And I originally wasn't gonna do this, but I had some extra quinoa and lentils left over. And I was like, you know what? I like protein. I'm a big fan. Let's go with it. All right, so there we go. Now let me go get my kebabs. Let's see. Oh, ooh. Barbecue chili crisp kebabs. Oh, look at that. You know it is bomb. Look at all that sauce seeping in. You see that? Barbecue chili kebabs. Barbecue chili kebabs. So I, oh, there she's falling off. She's already ready to go. So you can serve it like this or you can take it apart. I like to serve my kebabs like this just because I think it's really cute. So we're gonna do that. And I'm just placing it on my lentil and quinoa platter. Look at that, we got that mushroom in there. Ooh, we eating good this weekend. Look at her. Barbecue chili kebabs. Oh, and what's fierce is we have all this extra sauce that I'm just gonna paint on top. Oh, y'all, look at this. Look at that. And that's why we use that little platter. And that's why we put that quinoa and those lentils on the bottom because it just makes it all look so fun. And it gives it that real feeling that it's like, okay, this is a full dish. This isn't just like a side. No, we got that protein, heartiness. Yes. All right, so now, oh, I'm so excited, y'all. I love when I create new recipes that I've never made before live on the show because then it just lets me know I can adapt with whatever I got. So I'm just gonna add on some more of this warm sauce, just paint it on the very top. If you want to, you can drizzle it over. This is just the easiest way for me to do this, y'all. That way we know it's all getting fully covered and coated in deliciousness. Oh, snap, yes, girl, come here. Yes! Oh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna switch this around, just like that. That way y'all can see me paint this up. Painting the tree, painting it up, painting it up, painting the skewer, painting the roof, painting the skewer. You know what to do, painting the skewer.
know what to do, baby. All right. So I think we are good on that. Now, I want to finish this off with my signature elements, which is sauce and some freshness. So you don't have to add on the sauce. Let's see. Oh, she boot you to go. All right. I already want to dig on it. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look decadent and so delicious. So here we go. Now is the moment we've all been waiting for. I'm going to add on just a little sprinkle of some sauce just all the way across. This is just like a simple creamy sauce that I made for another one of my recipes I filmed. But I just like to add on that saucy little element, especially since it's a different color. I suggest when you're making this, use like a white sauce or a light color sauce or even a green sauce would be cool too. So there we go. And then I have some fresh parsley and I'm just gonna sprinkle that delicately all throughout. And y'all know I gotta add on that little bit of freshness. Oh my snap, this came out so glorious. I cannot believe this, y'all. We about to dig on it. I mean, are you serious? For real, look at this! Oh my blessings! Holy cow! I gotta, I gotta eat some of this right now. Look at that. We've got all that vegetable, that chili spice, that barbecue. All right, I'm gonna get myself a bite. Now, how I'm gonna do this? I think the best way to serve a skewer is like this, because it just—I mean—it looks so cute. But then, get myself just like that, and we can reuse that too. Hello. And then I'm gonna get some of these lentils too, cause you know, I'm trying to get that plant protein. Boom, and I'm gonna get myself a fork <laughs> so we can dig on in y'all. I am hungry, this is the first meal I've eaten today. And it's time, so I got some of that pineapple. I'll put the pineapple with the mushroom with the bell pepper. <laughs> Let's do that. There's our bite, our skewers, deconstructed skewers. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Wow. Mm. Y'all see this? Oh, you can't see that. Hopefully, y'all can see this. Mm. Okay. Okay, spicy sweet. Mm. Oh. Wow. Wow. Mm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna just eat all of it. <laughs> wow. This is so good, y'all. <laughs> Truly. Mm. Sometimes we gonna do a little mukbang moment because I just gotta eat, you know? Mm. gotta move you got a vibe to it because it's just so delicious y'all i can't i can't even all right last bite and then we are out of here mm. Wow. Mm, mm. Mm, mm. wow glorious beautiful stunning stunning like put that pineapple in there for real for real y'all whoa this is incredible especially i love the quinoa and the chickpeas in there it's so good <laughs> my instagram decided to pause because it was like hey you don't have any battery because you've been here for hours and i'm like yes girl i know that's why we leave in here right now can you please make the live cheeseburger taquitos? I wish I could, y'all, but your girl gotta keep going, gotta keep making new recipes every single week. But we'll see, I might revisit it later on and make it live, but we'll see. Stay tuned. But y'all, until then, you're coming over. Yes, I know, everybody's coming over, I guess. I mean, this is a very like friendly, everybody kind of eat, so I might have to invite some of y'all over, honestly, to munch on all this, but I already know I'm gonna have half, okay? Please sound so good, yes. So today, we just finished up making our chili barbecue skewers loaded with some mushroom and some pineapple and just 
love. Y'all know everything that I make is loaded and layered with love, but I'm really excited to dig on in. I'm excited for y'all to make this recipe. Use whatever vegetables you like. Just make sure you make that delicious dressing sauce, that chili crisp sauce. And don't forget that your girl Gabrielle also has a cookbook. You can actually go to my website. You can find it anywhere, y'all. Just type in Gabrielle Reyes or One Great Vegan. And I have a cookbook, y'all, and it's a musical cookbook, okay? It's literally got like 70 songs in it that Ace and I wrote. And yeah, you can go get it at my website, onegreatvegan.com. But if you're looking for a little free situation since things are crazy out here, I got you. You can actually just send me a screenshot. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. Send me a screenshot of this delicious dish. Be sure to tag me in the stories and I will actually send you over a free ebook. And it has like 70 recipes in there. So it's, it's pretty worth it. 100% worth the screen share. So yes, my loves, thank you again for joining. We had a blast. I got to sing some very brand new songs that I'm definitely gonna reference whenever I'm writing new stuff. And don't forget, you are a being of light and love. Your gifts come from up above. And you deserve everything that you desire in this world. You deserve light, you deserve love, you deserve truth, trust, patience, honesty. And I'm really excited for you all to see what's coming up next. I have, oh my gosh, actually last thing we're gonna do real quick before I get out of here. We gotta talk about this real quick. Boom. Oh, what's this? Is this, is this a cookbook? Is this like the the official cookbook that I'm in? Is it like my recipe? Yes, okay, we got, oh, I turned directly to it and then it reclosed again, but we're gonna try it again. I'm on page, oh, there she is. Vegan cheesy tortilla, look at that. I got two recipes in here, one Haitian and y'all, they took all these photos for me. Go get as cooked on TikTok. If you love all kinds of food, this is truly the book for you. This is all the viral recipes from TikTok. Your girl Gabrielle Reyes is in it. Yes, not once, but twice. Cause she got some fierce recipes and they can't lie. You can't deny. Bet you wonder how I got it like that. Bet you wonder how I keep a big sad. Bet you wonder how I keep it coming back. Cause my recipes slap and you know I'm speaking facts like, oh. Okay, and cause the recipes slap, they up in this book. So you can actually get this on Amazon, Target, anywhere cookbooks are sold. Yes, y'all. So if you're looking for, where can I get Gabrielle Reyes Haitian jackfruit enchilada recipe? Let's see, I actually think that that's in, ooh, let's see. I think it's in like the very, near the back, near the dishes, the um, dinners, like the complicated dinners. I ain't gonna lie, cause she got a lot of stuff in it. I'm gonna have to find it later, but y'all go get this book make the recipes, see what's happening. And yeah, I'm really excited. I'm gonna share more about it, do a whole video. You know how I do what I do. But until then, be sure to never forget to sing your song, do your dance, whatever dance it may be, <laughs> and speak your truth, because that's why you're alive. To speak your truth, live your truth, live your highest dreams. And I cannot wait for y'all to see what's coming up next time. Goodbye, my loves. Peace, love, light. Everything is all right. I feel like I always say that in the end of the video, and it's true. Peace, love, and light. Keep everything light. Oh, what?